Hello and welcome to this video, which is a guide to Twitter chats. What is a Twitter chat? Well, it's when people meet on Twitter to discuss a certain topic. The chat itself lasts usually one hour and people are not really chatting with their voice, but they're chatting with tweets, which means that you write your answers, comments, questions, and you use a hashtag, a special hashtag that is for this Twitter chat. And the answers or the comments or responses of the participants in this chat are seen in a feed, like a news feed that is filtered. And how do you take part in one? Well, first of all, you need a Twitter account and you need to log in. Then you can tap the chat hashtag into the search box and then you'll see all the tweets related to this hashtag in a feed in this list. You can look at the, look at, at the list of questions beforehand and then you can post or tweet your idea or comment using this hashtag. What does this look like? Here you can see an example. I'm on twitter.com and I've typed in the hashtag satchat which is a hashtag that a chat uses every Saturday. There's teachers who meet on Twitter. When you click enter, you will see then a feed, a filter of everybody who's using this hashtag. What examples of Twitter chats are there? Well, there are so many, there are over 100. Me, myself, I participate in at least one a week. It is edchat.de, which has been started by people, by teachers, educators for the German-speaking region, but English speakers are also welcome. It, the chat is done every Tuesday evening at 8 in English and in German, and it's always focused on a specific topic related to teaching or learning. You can feel free to take a look at any other Twitter chats that there are during the week, or there are also many language, different language chats as well. Our Twitter chat has the hashtag diversity MOOCs and will take place on Thursday, the 8th of December. It has a specific topic and the questions are posted in the course so you can prepare beforehand if you want. What did the questions look like? Well, here are the first four to give you an idea. All questions will be posted at a specific time, usually five or ten minutes apart from each other. So it's really good to look at the questions beforehand. They all start with Q1, Q2, Q3. And then you can use the format A1, A2, A3 to answer. So again, what do you need to do? Here's an example. Question two will be posted, let's say, at about quarter past when it, after it starts, yeah? How have you prepared or will you prepare your class for newly arrived migrants? And the answer that you can type in, A2, I have taken part in the MOOC on Teacher Academy. And you use the hashtags that were suggested. My special tip, you can use twitter.com, tweetdeck.com or any mobile app you want because all these apps feature a filter via hashtag. So you can use your smartphone, a computer, desktop computer or laptop or a tablet. This is what it looks like if you use tweetdeck.twitter.com on the desktop or on, the, on a browser. You can see here I have different feeds. I can see what people post using different hashtags. I see the, the hashtag there's diversity MOOCs but there's also the hashtag edchat.de or langchat or satchat. And so you will never miss whatever somebody posts during the Twitter chat. And what can you post? Well, anything actually, a question, a comment. It would be great if you react to something that someone else has tweeted or, or said, but you can post pictures, links to videos, articles, lessons, websites, anything. The most important thing is that you use the diversity MOOCs hashtag, so we can find your tweet afterwards. And that's it. If you'd like to know more about hashtags and how to use them as a teacher, or Twitter chats in general, 
please check out these links. Thanks for watching.